backloading an insulin pin. So for a start, we need to know what insulin pin to use depending on the usage. So if we're using an oil-based injectable, we have a 29 gauge and a 30 gauge. The bigger the gauge, the smaller the needle. So I'd advise a 29 gauge over a 30 gauge if you're using an oil-based injectable, purely because you're gonna to struggle to get it through. This is used for growth hormone, insulin, peptides, things like that, that are water-based. It's great for that, and you can even draw them through the actual pin. If we're gonna use the 29 gauge for an oil-based injectable, the reason we do so is because every time you stick that needle in, it's gonna cause damage. So this tiny needle on the end of there is gonna cause a lot less damage than this big needle on the end of here. So you can see the difference. And if we were to use a 21 gauge green pin, 23 gauge blue pin, both are gonna cause quite a lot of damage. I would advise, unless you're gonna go in your glutes, that's the only time you really use a blue. Greens have no usage apart from drawing into the pin. If we're gonna backload the insulin pin, you take a normal one or two milliliter barrel, stick a blue or a green pin on top, ideally a green, and then stick that into the oil. I'm gonna use bacteriostatic water for this because I've got nothing open. So we stick it in, draw, we'll say half a mil. So say that was testosterone anthate, you've got 125 milligrams of testosterone there. And then we take that out, take the insulin pin. I do it with my mouth, but if you want to use a sterile surface, you can also do that. Just pull it out, take this, squirt it in. Obviously, oil would be thicker in there. Put the cap back on here. Don't touch that. And then you carefully obviously if i was to push that now it's going to shoot out the end because the big air bubble in the way so to get rid of the air bubble we have to turn it let the liquid come to the bottom potentially flicking it like that obviously oil does flow a bit more smoothly than the water would in this instance make sure all the air bubbles are gone push it to the top get rid of all the air and then it's done and then let's pull the cap off great for things like delts if your body fat's a little bit high, potentially this isn't the best advice to, to use. Maybe a 25 gauge orange pin on a one mil barrel would be much better. Say the one mil barrel purely because there's more pressure inside there than there is inside here. So if you go to put that in, it's gonna work a lot easier with a lot less pressure on the, on the plunger with a one mil and an orange pin. If you sit, sit there with a, with a two mil barrel and an orange pin and you're trying to get your delt or maybe your rear delt and you're here in an awkward position and you're really trying to get that pressure on it's going to be quite awkward although this is longer so sometimes that can be awkward with one hand it does just go in a lot less pressure so if you're in that awkward position slightly advantageous but as i say you can get the insulin pin everywhere other than glutes i would say so it can be biceps and triceps delts rear delts not the front because it's full of the vascular system pec top and bottom even your traps i want to get someone to do that if you're going to do it in that area because obviously you have to think about the vascular system and the nervous system running down there it's not the best place to go i would not advise that but if you want to fine lats are another one never used it myself but a lot of people like to use that area and it can put a little bit more volume of oil in looks like your glute because it's a bigger muscle area so that's backloading insulin pin it's very simple you've got to be careful that you don't get rid of that air bubble when you push in so you have to just turn it and touch that in so it closes the gap but still allows the solution to come down and then you slowly pop it in to so fit it sort of gently because you have to pop in past and then it's sealed shut and then obviously with the air bubble at the top you slide it up push the air out solutions in where you want it to be obviously if that was a full milliliter of liquid whatever it would be compound wise then it's only going to be a tiny air bubble anyway you just got to let it travel up tap it up get rid of it you've got your one milliliter of liquid and you can stick it into most places. That's gonna cause much less damage than, for example, especially this, 21 gauge green, which is huge. I say great for drawing the oil in because then you're sucking it through much faster and you're not gonna blunt in the pin, which is why we always swap pins as well. Because if you're gonna stick that in something, you're gonna really blunt in it and then you're gonna stick it in your muscle. Over time, that blunt and needle is gonna cause more and more scar tissue. And that's the reason we're using this in the first place to reduce that scar tissue buildup as best we can.